In today's tutorial, you will be needing the internet and four folders. What is going on everybody? It is Amtrak TGE. Coming back to you with another tutorial on how to get bungee cord and two servers running so you can go back and forth between them. First thing you want to do is obviously get bungee cord. So you want to head over to spigot.mc.org and you want to go to their downloads. Hover over this little icon right here. It'll go down or up. Whatever. Click bungee cord. And then you want to download bungeecord.jar. I'll just maximize this for you. You want to download bungeecord.jar and it'll automatically download into your downloads. Once you download that, wherever the folder is, uh, I made a folder somewhere on the desktop somewhere. Uh, that says servers. I actually don't know where it went. But it's actually behind here, I think. Yep, there it is. The next thing you want to do is go into the bungee cord folder. Uh, create a bat file by doing new text document. Whatever here, delete the dot text, put, put dot bat, and then put, you want to change this file extension, put yes, and then edit that bat file in notepad plus plus preferably put at echo off doesn't have to be capitals but then java dash jar no spaces there and space then you want to do bungee cord dot jar Oop, keep doing that wrong jar Save that. Exit out. And make sure it is make sure that this right here is identical to this. This name. And I just accidentally executed it. So that completely crashed my thing that I was supposed to do. So don't click on this jar, double click. Don't double click unless you want to go through hassle of going through task manager. So we want to make sure this is exactly the same as your thing in here or it won't run because it can't find it. So once you've done that, make sure you click the bat dot bat file, not the jar. Double click this and it will start downloading all of what it needs to get. Um, the default listening port is 25577 and that's not the default port in most Minecraft servers. So what you want to do is go into the config.yml, edit that with notepad plus plus preferably and you want to go down here to host and you want to change this to 65 to make sure this is the main thing that they're going to connect to and then as well over here to 65 and then you want to check your service so let's say uh, this will be your so this will be whatever name I name it so server 1 uh, and then I'll just doesn't need to have any MOTD at the moment and then it can't be the same as the hosted port so let's just change this to 25555 because it'll be connected to a different port than the main port. I'm going to change this to IP port forward true, but you still have the port forward on your router to make sure. To give admin and default permissions uh, by bungee cord, like bungee cord commands, or just any in game commands by default and not have any permissions that you set for like anything. So set whatever your in-game name is and then the name of the rank that is there anybody that has admin will get these automatic commands so alert and IP and reload to add a second server I'm gonna copy this to make it easy easy just copy server one and then push enter and then paste it but make sure the the server is back Two, two spaces and then change this port to to whatever the next port is the so two five 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 six and then just make sure that you have that there and then you're good to go save that and we're going over to the servers and we will start up each one and here's the first one 
Uh oh. What happened? Let's see. Um. Oh wait, we forgot to restart Bungie. You always have to make sure you remember to restart Bungie when you change settings in the config. So you type end. Automatically close down. Rerun this. What has happened? Let's find out. Sorry about that. I forgot that you have to go into the default server and do server one is the default server and then fallback server. So say if you have two of the exact same servers, so server one is server two is an exact copy of server one, so your fallback if server one goes offline, they'll automatic automatically connect to server two. But I don't ever have that at the moment. So I just do server one, server one. So then save that and then just go ahead and run that again. And then it's automatically 25565. Two, five, five. Now, if we start to run the new servers, they'll get an error saying, oh, there's 25565 five, already is running. So we want to come into the server properties. So whatever port um, you set the server 1 to be in, change that port, which we change this to 25555. Five, five and save that and then your second server come down here to the properties and change this to 25556 or whatever you change it to save that and then go ahead and run the first server and then run the second server to see how you set up the servers look at the video uh, to my top right hand this corner of the screen we'll have my tutorial on how to set up this one server to begin with and how to get build tools and how to get spigot. Now we have both uh, servers running and the bungee cord. Now that we have all those we can jump into Minecraft, join localhost, it'll pop up over here on bungee cord, redirect us down to here, but we have an error. So we're going to go back to our, we're going to stop each server, so do stop, stop, and we want to go back into the server properties. So what did we do wrong? Well, what Bungie Core does is it goes, instead of it having to, each server having to verify that the user has a Minecraft account on the Mojang servers, Bungie Core does it for you and connects it to this server. So online mode needs to be disabled in the standard Minecraft servers because it doesn't need to do it twice. And it gets an error every time it does it. So you want to save that in server 1 and then you want to do it in server 2 as well. Using Notepad++ really helps too. So save those and then you just want to Close those, you know, run these servers again. Here's server one. And then server two. And once those servers are started, started up, this one started up, this one started up. You want to go into your Minecraft. Go ahead and join again. And it'll redirect me down to this server. Oh, that's a beautiful spawn. Go into this server. <laughs> Wow, that was a really beautiful spawn. Okay, so now that you're in this server, you want to come over to to connect to the second server. So what you want to do is do slash server, and then you get li list of servers. You're currently connected to the server one. You may connect to the following servers: server one or server two. You want to do slash server server two. Before I do that, I'll show you what it does. It gets your command that you want to put in if it actually server server two get your command it jumps back up to here transfers you over to here and now you're in server two and if I want to go back go back to server one and it disconnects me from here it sees left left game and it says join game I hope you guys learned from this tutorial how to make a bungee
tutorial. I will put all links down in the description below. And I'll uh, be putting more tutorials on how to use some plugins with um, Bungie Cord and how to help with everything. So, this is how I died last time. So, yeah. It's Dan Trucks teaching you guys. See you guys later. Peace.